what up everybody so i wanted to make this guide for you guys uh, for metal.tv of how to set up and use metal for 2022 it was eight months since i did my last video and you guys really liked it i uh, showed a lot of support i have almost 62,000 views you almost have 200 subscribers uh so many cool comments super positive that this was helpful and that um uh, that people needed it so i want to make another guide for you guys for all the changes that happened uh, if you like the video like the video uh if you uh want to subscribe then you get to see more videos coming up like this and for other platforms and for games Games, all kinds of stuff we do all that here uh, but I appreciate the support thank you guys so much and I hope you guys like the video all right so first step you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go over to metal TV this is where you can log in sign up all that stuff if you've already made an account if you do want to sign up there's a bunch of other stuff you can use to sign up discord steam riot Twitter TikTok, all that stuff super nice that they've integrated that in uh, you can download for Windows and for Mac I did make a guide on how to download uh, metal on Mac um, it's completely different when you once you download it than it is on Windows uh, it still works so I would recommend checking that out I will leave it in the comments uh, in the description down below so check it out uh, if you need help there uh, but you're it once you click download for Windows we'll jump over to what it looks like on metal here so once we pull that up, once you signed in and all that jazz, uh, you're going to start off in this home area, but you're going to want to set up your account. So we'll, we'll, the next step is to uh, kind of go through that, but let's cover what it looks like here. So uh, this is the home here. This is where you can see like for you other games like that I'm playing. So you can see likes, how many people have seen something, shared it. It's a good way. You can comment on other people's videos, uh, see like see, you know, Fortnite, Halo, all that jazz that I have on here. Uh, super awesome. You can follow certain games. So I only have one followed because I'm not too, or I guess I have two. Look at that. That's awesome. But you can follow these games if you want to see the clips on here with using metal. Uh, it's a really good platform to use that for and also for discoverability if you wanted to do that on here. Uh, I don't, but uh, uh, it's a lot, it's very popular. Uh, obviously 3.3 million followers for this on on metal that's crazy that's awesome uh, so discover these are some different things that you can do um, on metal or people making clips and all that jazz so once but once you go in here you have your library if you've made any clips which you probably haven't yet because you're just downloading and setting it up and all that jazz uh, but this is some clips here that I have which I'll go into like how to edit and what that looks like here in a minute um, you got friends here if you have any conversations you can follow certain people if you like their clips or anything like that um, you can, these are the games that I followed. So if I click on one of these, I get to see specifically World of Warcraft uh, craft clips here on my page. So it's kind of nice, you know, check out other, other gameplay. You can follow more games. Uh, right down here, there's a help menu. Uh, you can repair it if you need to. You can run the repair mode if you're having issues. And um, uh, you feel free to leave comments down below if something's not working. I do my best to, uh, we had like 800 or something like comments, I think, in our last video. And I've tried to comment on as much of them as I can to help people out. So if you do have comment or do you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to help. But you can also start repair mode uh, to do that. But we'll, we'll uh, hopefully I can help you out if, if there is any issues but hopefully you won't have any <laughs> so once you go down here going to settings uh, you're going to want to start to set stuff up all right so this next step here uh you're going to want to set up your your account so i'm only going to cover i'm not going to cover everything here because there's a lot to cover here but i'm going to basically give you the, the well the basics <laughs> it's for how to set up and record your audio um your gameplay real quick to how to make a clip so let's jump right into that uh, this first thing you can do you can add a, edit a banner uh put a profile picture up your username email bio all that stuff you can also connect accounts my so shout out to kona blue v8 uh, my buddy he um he showed me kind of like how these connect these accounts here but you can connect a bunch of different accounts so i have twitch connected for me i have uh, twitter connected by the way you should go follow me there if you uh, want to uh and then there's other ones here you can uh, connect here as well if you're trying to grow or you know anything like that share some clips of those um so yeah the, you can set up your account here you go into recording to see what how you want to record stuff so quality and length i have full hd 1080p you can do higher you can do uh, 2k 4k high medium low if you have a lower end pc that might be something you can you can use um and it still lets you i mean i think for most people you could probably do at least high for most computers but if you needed to go lower that way you can still sh be sharing clips and everything like that but don't have the money for a nicer computer or whatever that looks like um you can record at a lower resolution and lower FPS but I have mine set to uh, 1080p uh, 60 FPS 15m bitrate which I could probably bump this up a little bit 
Um, I use, use it on my GPU instead of my CPU, and then I have a length for one minute. Um, it's just kind of what I like. But there's 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. You know, you can see the, the list right here. You can do the last 10 minutes if you wanted to. Um, so, I mean, that's really nice. Uh, record with Metal, automatically record. Metal with automatic record every game you play by default. I always have this on. I don't have show mouse cursor, cursor on. You can have overlay stuff on here. You don't need to at all. Uh, I have my uh, stretch to fit to 69. Um, uh, this one, um, a lot of people ask me in the comments down below, uh, maximize clip performance. Uh, th if you're like competing competitively or you have a game that um, takes a lot out of your uh, CPU or anything like that, or perhaps you're, um, or maybe you have a low end PC, I would not use the max maximize clip performance. I don't, I mean, my computer's not, not too bad, but um, my main focus is the game, I guess to say, and then if I get a clip out of it, that's awesome for the backside. Uh, so you can set your rec general recording settings right here. Sessions, um, real-time clipping settings. You can change this up as well. Um, I'd say this is the really important one, though. Uh, audio and devices. I have mine on for game audio only. So I, I, if I have Discord with my buddies going on and we're yelling and screaming and whatever's going on there, uh, or if I have music playing in the background while I'm gaming or something like that, but I still want to record gameplay and I don't want it in there, turn this on. Game audio only. Um, it just records the gameplay. It's so nice. It's, I mean, got to be the, I think it's the best feature in metal. It's still an alpha, but it works fantastic. There have been some issues here and there, I think, that I've had um, where my gameplay would just cut out completely. But overall, it's been a really good feature. But let's just say, uh, let's just say you don't want to do uh, the game audio only. You can turn this off. You can set up your mic. So I can set up which speakers I, where I want my game sound to go to. So if I have my headphones on, I can set those there, which is my Razer USB sound card. Uh, microphone input, I can pick which microphone I want. So um, a lot of people had questions about their audio, which I also have a guide on how to fix audio and stuff like that, which you can check out um, on my channel here. Uh, but um, uh, for, let's just say for this instance, I'll use my, my Yeti microphone that I'm using right now. I can test it out just to make sure it works. Yo. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. Uh, so that works. You can also turn on push to talk. Uh, mine's disabled right now because basically I just want them to record real gameplay if my mic is ever in it. Um, usually it's not, I would say. You can also include your, your uh, camera in this. I can't right now because I'm using another software to record what this video. Uh, but you can turn your camera on to make clips. Um, and then throw it in for part of your clip if you're trying to edit it into TikTok or whatever it is. Um, you can pick which device to use and what position you want it in the camera. You can play around with that a lot, but it's a super nice feature. Um, so I'm going to turn this back off and I'm going to switch the game um, audio only on back on. Uh, but for hotkeys here, so there's a, there's a lot of things with hotkeys. Um, you So if you're playing mouse and keyboard, you can set up a hotkey for your uh, mouse and keyboard. If you're playing controller, you can do that. You can game switch hotkey. Um, you can even do a mouse input hotkey. Uh, the only one I have enabled right now is my keyboard. Um, mostly because even if I'm playing with my controller, I want to just I don't want to have a hotkey. I use almost every single thing on my controller if I'm playing like Fortnite or something like that. Or if I have paddles and stuff like that, but you could set up a paddle or something that you wanted to on your controller. So every time you click that, it does a hockey or it records for whatever you set it for in the recording settings here. Uh, but I just have it set up here. You do want to make sure if you're just going to, I would um, try to just have one recording enabled each time. There have been issues with a lot of people's uh, accounts uh, or people like trying to record. And if they have more than one of these enabled, it wasn't clipping whatever they were trying to do their gameplay so i have just one enabled and then i disabled the rest whatever you want to use you can do that so mine says last 60 seconds obviously because that's what i set it to but you can change that up so i'll go in real quick here in just a minute uh, i'll log into a game here and then clip something and show you what it looks like when it pops up on the game and then what we are where it goes to here in just a minute so you can set your hockey super important because you can't clip anything if you don't have that set up um uh let's go over here real quick <clears throat> Um, so if you go over to general, um, this is um, something I always keep on. Uh, automatic startup, start mental on your, when your computer starts. Be prepared the moment you start playing a game. I just have that on just so that um, if I log into a game and I forget to clip or something like that, I, and I need it for content if I'm trying to grow or something, something else, that's that's there. 
Okay, there's another thing that I wanted to mention here because there's been so many people that have messaged me or commented in my video about how to do this. Um, if you wanna use Metal to record your whole gameplay, you can. Uh, you just need to go back into recording here you uh, and you want to enable full session recording once you enable that it, re it records your entire gaming session I would make sure you have probably a lot of memory in this because it's gonna take up a ton uh, I wouldn't suggest doing it honestly because you can set this link to up to 10 minutes and then edit things throughout that using this metal app or another app um, instead but if you wanted to you could do full session recording you could turn that on and that means that your hotkey now instead of doing the last 60 seconds it would just bookmark a moment in my gameplay so it's completely different and then we go into here to the library so it's completely different than um what this other clip stuff is uh, so give me one minute here and then I'm just gonna log in here to another game and I can show you what look at what it looks like when I use my hotkey and uh, where it goes to in metal. Okay, we're in a game. Uh, I just logged into WoW real quick here. So I have my guy here, and I, as you guys know, I set up my hockey, so what that is, so I'm gonna press it. And right there, you can see up there in the top left that the clip had saved. So we're now we're gonna pull back up into uh, metal here. So I'm gonna go back in, pull up metal. And what's really cool is it's not going to, um, it, it, it's, already, it's already in uh, the, my library. I don't have to upload it, it saves instantly just like that so now we can go in here and I'm just gonna show you guys a brief overview of how to edit a clip because I have another video on that which you're welcome to check out in the channel uh, but here so let's just let's click on the clip here so um, if I wanted to edit and share I can go into this uh, this clip right here um, I can pick how long it is so first thing okay let's do first thing you can change the name or whatever it is um, I mean I'll just do this I'll do the whole the whole process for you guys uh, my warrior or whatever um, I can change how long the clip is so if I just want to show off what he looks like cool I can select it for the last like 40 seconds for that which is pretty cool um, I can add certain people so if I had a buddy that I wanted to add so I can add my buddy um, and then I could add a, a, a hashtag maybe if I want to get some dis discovered or something like that so I'll just put in wow um, I can also share this clip to discord Twitter reddit all that jazz if you want to do something like that which is a great feature to you so and they might be able Meeting some more stuff here. I know they have TikTok as you can log in on, so that might be maybe a possibility in the future, uh, but I'm not really sure. Uh, so we can edit the change the clip. You can also have music. Um, you can have stuff I think from your own library, but they actually have a base thing already. So if I wanted to just add in a quick, I don't know, quick quick song or something like that, I can see what the song is real quick. So let's see. Yeah. So I put that in there. I can make the sound louder quieter whatever I wanted to and let's just pause this if I want to add it in so I can click the plus button so now my clip has this does that make sense so right there um, and I can change the setting again for how loud I want it to be so then I can edit this down here to what part of the song I want the clip in so super easy super useful feature uh, let's just say I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this and let's just say I want my clip right here I'm gonna save these edits right real quick it saves and then I can click upload here and so when I upload this it's gonna go um, it's gonna take a minute here to upload how, depending on how long your clip is whatever that jazz is uh, you can click upload and once it's uploaded it's gonna go to your library so um, once I do that, it's if I go back here, well, it's actually going to go to your library. It's going to be on your home page or your your page. So it's going to be in your um, Hoshizi stuff uh, that you've done. So instead of being on ready to upload, if I go back here, my gosh, upload in the last week, it show here. I can also download it again if I wanted to to share to something if I wanted anything like that. So now it's gone. It's no longer ready to upload. Or anything like that uh, but you can see all the clips that I've uploaded here um, it's a super easy thing like I said I make a video of how to uh, edit more and more in depth and all that jazz which you're welcome to check out it was super helpful for some people so if you want to do that um, uh, and then you can share the clip to metal like I said you can put hashtags so when you go to this home page or if someone's following the game that you are it, it has a chance to pop up in this this page here to get discovered so honestly it's a really cool feature uh, I would definitely suggest doing that especially if it's a clip you want sometimes I just upload clips just so I can have them in my system so I can go back and look at memories share them with buddies uh, or resave them and then post them for a YouTube video or something like that or TikTok um, but I, I would suggest doing that for clips that you definitely want add some tags in there and then um, uh, you know name it all that jazz 
two more things I want to talk about real quick. First one is having Metal TV on your phone. If you log in, download that. Uh, it, the clips that you have uploaded on Metal. So if I uploaded like five clips or something like that this week, I can go in and pick those clips off of my Metal TV on on my phone. So what I have here. Uh, Someone just coming on video saying thank you. That's awesome. Uh, and so I uploaded my WoW video. So right there, I have my WoW video already uploaded. So I can download that to my phone. I can share on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever I wanted to. Uh, something I use for if I have to like travel for work or um, you know anything going on in my personal life, vacation, I can upload like a few clips from my PC, download them on my phone, and share them on my phone throughout the week or whatever if I have to leave. Uh, it's a super cool feature, so I would suggest checking it out, seeing if you like it, if you don't, whatever. Uh, if you do like it, you know, leave it in the comments down below and let me know. Also, if you don't, tell me why you don't like it. Uh, I'd love to know because right? I'm learning a lot about this feature, this this platform myself, and the phone, and there's some things I don't know, so feel free to let me know too. Um, but I wanted to say thank you to everybody for the amazing support. It's been a dream of mine to want to make videos to help other gamers out, and this one helped out a lot of people, and that was the goal. So I hope this one, or this video, Metal, how to set up and use Metal uh, eight months ago helped a lot of people. hope this one helps some people too because that's the main goal. Uh, thank you guys. Seriously, 62,000 views, almost 200 subscribers. That's so encouraging to me. It's not even funny. Um, making dreams come true for sure. So if you like the video, like the video. Uh, hit that sub button. We got more videos like this coming all the time. Um, for Probably for Metal, for a bunch of other platforms you can use. Basically, this, this, this channel is here to share funny gameplay, highlights, um, tips on different platforms to use to share your your clips, your gaming stuff with friends or to grow as a, as a, as a streamer or um, YouTube or anything like that. That's what this is for. Uh, so I hope you guys, you know, again, like the video. I appreciate all of you guys and uh, until next time.